Question from Edward Gleason. Edward asks, where would you, where would we measure on tires with tread? On the tread, between the tread, or uh, I know under the surface. Okay, so what Edward's asking there is when we do our pyrometer measurements, I was doing that on a slip tire. He's asking how you would be doing that on a treaded tire. So typically in a motorsport style tire that does have tread, so something like a dot rated tire that's treaded, uh, <clears throat> the tread blocks won't be very tall. So what I mean by that is not the tread depth isn't massive. Uh, and for that reason, it's perfectly legitimate to still, you still want to be going in the tread blocks. You don't want to be going necessarily in between the tread blocks. Um, we're doing, by going in with the pyro, we're taking a sort of a, not an average, but we're, all, we're, we're measuring both the the, uh, the tread temperatures, but also it's giving us some information about the construction. So it is important that we uh, take into account the tread as well. So yeah, you want to be taking those measurements on the tread. Obviously every tread design is going to be a little bit different, but you still, you really want to be taking uh, those measurements somewhere near the outside, maybe through between 30 and 40 millimeters from the outside of the tire, or that's, you know, one to one and a half inches from the outside of the tire one in the center and one on the outside as well. So, sorry, inside, middle, outside. So uh, you're still gonna need to pick a intelligent position to pick, uh, to take those measurements, but yes, you do wanna be taking them in the tread. If it's can very, if it was a very, very open tire, maybe you'd be going in between them. It really depends, but in general, those tread blocks are gonna be quite big. Uh, the tread blocks are gonna be, gonna be quite short on a motorsport style tire. So in general, yes, you do want to be taking it inside the, uh, the tread itself. You just wanna be repeatable and always using the same position. If you like free stuff and you'd like to learn more about optimizing the performance and handling of your car on the racetrack, as well as improving your skills behind the wheel, then we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description of this video to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You're guaranteed to learn a lot and you'll have a chance to ask questions, which we'll be answering live. Remember, it's 100% free, so click the link to claim your spot.